Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks, and we're doing a booth tour at Acer. We're starting off with the Acer 21X, which is a curved display laptop. It has two GTX 1080 graphics cards. I think it's 2160 by 1080. We can show you some of the footage of the eye tracking in action. It actually is really crazy. Eight kilos, latest Core i7 processors, 64 gigabytes of RAM. The keyboard is backlit and absolute madness. This flips around, so it turns into a trackpad, a number pad, and then a trackpad. Right, so that's really cool. It's got five fans, eight heat pipes, and we're gonna carry on with our booth tour because there's a big ass line to see this product. It's one of the most popular things here at the booth, but we're gonna check out some of their other gaming stuff. So we keep on walking over. Here's some of their more traditional desktops. Here's a curved display. So that apparently Acer is all in on curved. Is it an all-in-one or is it just a monitor? Just a monitor. Just a monitor. All right, so it's not, it's not a, oh, but look at this. Okay, so this is the Predator line of desktops. It's something that I've noticed before, but they seem to have this really great kind of like, actually like the Predator, if you're old enough to remember that movie from the 80s, this is what is going on here. Now, it's got a GTX 980 processor in there. You have the option for AMD, which I'm surprised at because you never see uh, AMD in anything. But let's get out of the gaming section. The Predator area is very threatening and very low power. We have this massive three display setup. It's absolutely enormous. Why don't I do a little bit of gaming on here? All right. Now, I am a terrible driver. That's not true. I'm a really good driver. I'm terrible at left trigger. All right. <laughs> okay, let's back this. All right, so we got a three display monitor set up here. I am not good at driving. Apparently I'm going backwards on the track, but that's so I can crash for you and have a big accident and see how exciting that this is and we're gonna carry on in the boot tour. <laughs> All right, so it's a way like lighter and more fun like living room experience out here. So we leave like the dark den of gaming back there, which is like the threatening predator line. And then we come into their booth, which is light and open. And over here, maybe we have some wood. If we want some wood, we, that, 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 that's here at the Acer booth. But we also see their, their massive one of tablets. Nothing really new here, but there's also their projectors. This would be their, one of their little all-in-ones. This is, this is a really big projector. <laughs> it kind of it kind of reminds me of Hal. If you look inside there, there's like a, like your soul might get sucked in to this projector. Like that has to be for professional use, like absolute madness. So the Acer booth is lovely. There's some like nice seats. They're actually serving currywurst which I may have to have because I'm in Germany, which I think is, yeah, it's the worst. I mean, there's all kinds of jokes you can make about that. We have some more of their all-in-ones all over here. The V15 Nitro, which is definitely a really nice laptop that I tried out for some video editing and I really enjoyed it. But where all the people are back here, this is kind of where all the good action is. This is where the stuff is that we had to like elbow in and wait in line and get some like nosebleeds happening in order to touch it. And we'll see if we can kind of grab one. We'll grab a spin seven. Yeah. So Acer's actually got an entire new lineup of spin products. So spin because it spins, right? It's pretty obvious. But at the same time, I like the spin seven a lot. I mean, there's a spin five, three, there's a, there's a whole line of them. But I like the spin seven because it's so thin. So we look at it, it is only what is it, 10.98 millimeters. You check that out, that is a crazy thin profile. It feels really nice, the edges are really sharp. Like it's just all around a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful device. If we check out this side, we have two USB type C, which is really good. I mean, on devices this thin, like say like the MacBook or the ZenBook 3, we've only got one type C. I like having the two options because you can power one and then you can like transfer data with the other. Like if you have, like you, sometimes you have to like unplug something in order to transfer stuff. So I'm really happy that they have that. They have this great two hinge design. So if we look at that, right? So this first hinge, so pay, pay, pay attention now guys. This first hinge is the first one and then this second hinge actually executes. So if we open that up, see that first hinge going and then it hits here 
and then the second hinge starts, right? And then back again, right? So it's actually a two hinge design, which is much more stable. It'll, it allows for the touch screen to be in play so that when you have the, oh, <laughs> maybe you can't hold it like that though. But when you have the first hinge supporting it, you can use the touch screen and then it won't, it won't be as wobbly, right? So I, I really like the attention to detail in construction. Huge trackpad, like absolutely massive. Like maybe we're like, they want us to play the piano on that. It is enormous trackpad. Da -da 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 -da. But anyways, I mean like, so like maybe if you want to do like photo editing or like pinching and zooming is a thing that you do, it's big. I know I always point this out, but the shift keys are really nice and large. The feedback on the keyboard seems really nice. We're not seeing any flex on it at all, right? So like, I'll be honest with you, I haven't been that in tune with Acer products over the last year because I wasn't that in love with their last lineup. But this Spin 7 has me sold. I'm back on board. I really want to check this out. Um, it's something that I really, really want to review. I just like the attention to detail. And there is, a, there is another product here that I want to get hands on with. Now I'm gonna see if I can if I can do that. If I can like get serious about stuff. I can't get serious about anything. I'm not, I'm not brave enough to steal it from anyone's hand. <laughs> so we're gonna come back when I have the notebook that I wanna show you. <laughs> Apparently we just had to wait like 30 seconds and then all of the all of them are free. But we now, we now have all of the Swiss sevens. So the Swift 7 is currently the world's thinnest notebook. I know Lenovo has their yoga book and they're calling that a notebook, but let's be real, you need a physical keyboard to call it a notebook, right? So we are looking at 9.98 millimeters thin. This thing is bad boy thin, right? Close that up. Razor, razor, razor thin. I'm just gonna keep on spinning this around for you because the other side, legit, is the more interesting side because again, they continued the legacy with the two type C. Love that, right? So we have a really strong construction, same as the Spin 7, with really solid, nice, all metal design. The keyboard on this is great. We have the same massive trackpad. Like this is something that I really want to spend more time testing out. 1.12 kilos, nine hours of battery life support, supposedly the only downside is to it, because it's so thin, it's not really upgradable. We have a Core i5 Core i processor, seven gen core, so that, that's really good, but we can't go up to an i7. Maybe that's a heat sink thing. Oh, I just put my foot in the sand. There's sand down here. I just put my foot in it. That was a bit weird. All right, so talking about why I am continuously in love with this again is the fact that the 7th gen core processor, this is a fanless design, right? The Y series is really, really strong in terms of productivity, right? Getting something this thin, you usually had to make a lot of sacrifices, but maybe on extended render or extended gaming, we're not gonna see the numbers that we want, but in like my brief tests with the, with, with the i7, Y series, seven gen core, God, the naming is bad. Intel's not good at this stuff. But it's really something that you can rely on it if you want to run like multi, like multiple programs, say like Adobe Suite, Photoshop was running really killer on, on it. I haven't tested this one. Can't wait to test it. Apparently it's won awards. Ugh, all right. So that was our kind of tour of the, of the Acer booth. You can see it's lovely in here. Now we're gonna head back to the show floor to check out some more stuff. Be sure to follow us by subscribing because you don't wanna miss out on any more great IFA booth tours. Bye.